If you use Kittle or you have been debating getting Kittle for your designing needs, then you need to know about these new amazing updates. First update is that Kittle has it now partnered with an API called Flat Icon, and this has brought us so many new elements. If you've been using Kittle before, you know that their elements were a little bit lacking. But now when you search for pretty much anything, the amount of different elements that you can choose from has increased significantly. I just looked up cow. And if you just take a look through how many have just showed up for the keyword cow, you are going to be shocked. It just keeps going. They've also upgraded their AI. So now when you are generating images using Kittle AI, it is faster, more reliable, and more accurate, which is a huge game changer. And I've had really good luck creating clip art images using their AI. So let's give it a test. I just put in watercolor cowboy hat. I want it to be brown because I did some tests and it was giving me multicolored hats. And then I put in clip art. So this is what I got back, which is very good, especially compared to what their old AI was like. They have made some serious advancements. The problem when you are making clip art from any AI platform mid journey, Leonardo, anything, there are some drawbacks and things stopping us from using these as a usable clip art. The first point is that when you are getting an AI image, they are low quality. Number two, they are a raster image, meaning they are made up of pixels versus a vector image is made up of lines that can scale up and down. So if we had a vector image, we'd be able to scale this to infinity and not have pixelation like we would with an image as is right now. But good thing, Kittle built in a tool to fix both of these. So first, we need to get rid of the white background. Every single AI platform is going to give you a white background. They can't give you a PNG file. So if you take a look at this, it's not clip art right now because nobody wants to print this white background. If we click on our image within Kittle, we can just use the AI background remover, which is going to get rid of all of that white. And now we have this beautiful file here, almost ready to use, but right now it is still low quality and we're gonna have the issue if someone tries to make this bigger, it's going to get pixelated. But now they've introduced this image vectorizer and what they have improved upon is now on this vectorizer, you can change the amount of colors that you want to show up in the vector file. Before it was only black, so it wouldn't work out like this, you would just get a black silhouette of the hat, which was not really useful for what I needed. But if I do all 16 colors, I have a lot of different browns in here, so I'm just gonna use a max number of colors, and I'm gonna hit vectorize image, and let's see what that gets us. Doesn't look like much has changed, but now I can infinitely scale this image up and down without sacrificing quality, which makes this very, very good to sell at high res to customers or to use for your printing needs. The next benefit is now that this is an image mathematically calculated with these mathematical lines, technical stuff about whatever a vector image is, you can now change all 16 of these colors. So this is now highly customizable and you can do that just over here. I can change every little part of this design. There's a lot, of, there's 16 different colors, so I can go pretty wild. If I just did say two colors, it would convert this to just a two color image only. So it wouldn't be this detailed, but it would be really easy to change the colors. This has been one of my favorite parts about using Kittle. I've been using AI more and more, both within Kittle and within Mid Journey for some more technical things. And I've always had the issue of, I want to sell clip art or SVGs, or I want to print them and I could never use them because they, one, you couldn't customize it at all. And two, the minute you blew it up, it was super pixelated. And now Kittle has completely fixed that for me. Another improvement I found in Kittle recently was their ability to adjust or edit photographs right within the platform. I thought only Canva did this, but it's just a little bit more hidden here. It's easy to find once you know where it is, but if you bring in an image, one, I could do what I did before and I could vectorize it, but this is an image, so I don't want to do that. But I can come down and I can go to show all and I can adjust many different points of this photo. If it was too dark, I can make it brighter. That's a little bit too bright for this photo, which is already really bright. So maybe I wanted to make it darker. I want to increase contrast. 
Don't like that for this photo. This photo is already pretty monotone, so maybe not the best example, but this was only available in Canva before, but now Kittle is also adding these photo editing capabilities. The next new update is folders within your uploads. So if you are constantly uploading new elements and you are bringing them into Kittle, but you have no way to find them. This is one of my biggest issues in Canva. I upload so much to Canva and then I can never find it again. And I spend 30 minutes scrolling through all my photos. But now within Kittle, I can separate all of my uploads into different folders to find them way easier later and to access them easier in a different file. The next new update is the introduction of all of your Halloween templates. If you had listened to me before, I've talked about how Kittle is a leader in templates and probably the reason they are doing so well for print on demand. They are looking at trends and including them in their templates for you to use. And they are usually way ahead of the holidays. So they've already started putting up designs that you can edit for Halloween. And if you were on Etsy last year, you could see that a lot of these templates highly mimic what was best selling last year. So if you are having trouble creating Halloween designs, get looking in the new Kittle templates and just search up Halloween. And just to show you a bit more, like we have just your basic witch, that's hilarious. Let's go girls, spooky Halloween, creeping it real. These are all terms that were really popular and this retro design was killing it last year and will probably again. And then the next new product available within Kittle is their AI product backgrounds. If you sell products like mugs, tumblers, tote bags, that you would want to change the background up, you can now do that with AI. You can just tell Kittle what type of background you are looking for for say your Tumblr design, and they are going to AI create that for you to use for your Etsy listing photo. You just upload the JPEG or PNG file of your image that you are selling. This ideally should have your print on demand design on it. And hint, if you're using Printify, you can just go save the product mockups that Printify created for you, the ones with the white background and upload this and Kittle will automatically remove the background for you. And then you can pick from one of their pre-created scenes or you can use a prompt to write your own background. So with my mug example, here's a few I just created. I created one on a wood background, one with a knit blanket on the background, one in the living room, one in a coffee table. That one took it a little bit too literally, not exactly what I was looking for. And the other two ones were ones that I could pick from from the studio that Kittle already provided. Out of these, I am definitely liking the last two, laying on a knit blanket and on top of a wood table with a wood background. And you can just keep playing with these or keep regenerating them until you are happy with the result. And then you can just save them and then use these as your Etsy photos. And the very last update that I have for you guys, which actually hasn't been released yet, but I'm so excited to announce it, is that they are introducing multiple artboards. So if you've used Canva before, you know in one file, you can have multiple different pages so you can have multiple different files within kind of one file name. And that is coming to Kittle within the next two months. So keep an eye out for that. That I think is going to be a massive game changer, especially for me because I have so many files that I like to group them into different artboards. So that is coming soon. So keep your eyes peeled. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna try to keep it up to date on these Kittle updates, Etsy updates, print on demand updates I see. So if there are any that you are looking forward to, let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys.